Look at all of these Herco machines, some old and some new, but today is all about the managing director's purchasing perspective. So Wellington Engineering, we're based here on the outskirts of London near Heathrow Airport. Um, we've got 45 CNC machines here, ranging from all multi-axis mill turns. Uh, we've got a 20,000 square foot purpose-built factory, um, and we um, employ over 40 people here. You've recently invested in a five-axis yeah. machine, and so what was the key driver behind that? Um, for me as a business owner, it's all about productivity. Um, I'm not on the front line of engineering, but I do know that we had a strategy here to look at more complex components, and with that came the, the ability to support that with um, five-axis machinery. And it was the one missing link we had here at Wellington, um, so I wanted to put that in, and we had the man, the machine. We didn't have the machine, but we had the work. So the final part of the jigsaw was to get the machine. Um, and I've got a lot of Herco machines here, but this was the next stage up, investment and in technology. Just to fill you in on the purchase of their VC500i, it's a cantilever five axis machine, ergonomically designed for easy access, which is great for the operator, 100 degrees plus and minus on the B axis, so perfect for hitting all faces in one setup, seriously helping to reduce the number of operations. Why is productivity so important for you then? Well, productivity drives profit, and we all know we need to have a bit of that these days. Um, but ultimately, we were seeing a lot of these new shapes and bits we're bringing into the business just taking too long for our, our conventional techni techniques of three axis, four axis. So it just made right to get the five axis machine in. And I've seen excellent results since we've had it. I mean, parts are now coming off not only quicker, but we're not taking up capacity of other machines. There's a hell of a lot of less deburring and hand fettling. And of course, then it just frees up the other machines to do other work. Where were your pain points before then when you've just said going from your three to four up yeah. to your five yeah. axis? But it's always a bit of a chicken egg situation because we know the work we're trying to look to put on the machine, but you've got to get the work on the machine first. But I was seeing so many complex components just taking far too long. They were taking on other machines, manpower. Um, we were having to machine from bigger billets, work holding issues, etc., etc. But with the five axis machine now, we're getting jobs off much quicker in cycle times. It gives us the confidence to tell the customers when they're going to get their jobs. Um, it just basically means now we just get jobs off more efficiently in a much quicker manner. Without a doubt, this machine has been a success for you, but how are you calculating that success? No, that's a good question. So we have some machine efficiency software where we monitor um, how, how often the machine's running and cycle times, etc. Um, we're seeing a benefit of that more than anything is that we don't have to then put jobs through four or five machines. There was a situation the other week where we had one of the operators who phoned in sick and it breaks the chain of jobs on the machine. Um, again, everything's a jigsaw puzzle, but with this machine here, we know we put it on, we get, get the job off in two ops maximum, and it just helps us improve our efficiency and getting our jobs to our customer base. So at the end of the day, um, we all know in industry now, there's not an abundance of young talent coming through, and often we have to negate that by getting machines that can do five people's jobs. So we've got a machine here, it's a multi-axis machine, cuts out a lot of deburring. Yes, there's a skill set to it, but with the support and the ease of the Herco programming now, we're finding we're getting around that and we're producing lovely components in, in good times. After speaking with the operators, they've praised the machine's conversational programming and the simultaneous cross-reference ability to edit in conversation, thus giving confidence that a part will come off right first time. With your new capacity, are you now kind of looking at jobs in a different way? Oh, 100%, yeah. Myself and a couple of other people here estimate Wellington. Every job we see now, we look at it as a, as a job that could potentially go on here because the benefits of it. So although the machine is set up for simultaneous five axes and we do some of that work on it, you've also got jobs where you can just do five-sided work. So whereas you cut out multiple operations before, just simple jobs where you've got five-side work to do, so all you're doing is taking the back off. Um, so yes, every job we look at now, we're looking at can we put it on here. Obviously, that's not always possible, but yes, certainly it's definitely a way, different way we look at jobs than when we're quoting. And what other rewards are you reaping from this investment? Okay, so I mean, we've only had the machine in for six or seven months now, but already we're finding we're getting reports back from our customer base. We're managing to compete again now with some of the local sourcing outfits where before oh. they've had to go abroad because they can get the cycle times, etc. So yes, that comes in with batches, but certainly we're getting good feedback that you know our, our, our quoting times are getting better. And it's quite interesting because off camera you told me your cycle times have got longer on this machine in comparison to an old process. 
Yes, but, but we're cutting down massively on setup times. Yes. And obviously some potential errors in jigging and fixturing and all the other stuff that comes with multiple operations. So yes, we may be five, 10 minutes altogether, but that's because we're running around doing all deburring finishing on the machine. The job comes off completely finished. And you've got an interesting um, experience from this morning. Oh yeah, just an inquiry coming this morning, which I'll, I'll be honest with you, I've looked at this job three or four times before, but I can never get to the target price the customer wants us to look at. That said, with this investment, it's now allowing me to compete, and we're looking at it this afternoon, and hopefully we can get down to the cycle time. So I'm confident we can, because the job will now come off with all five sides hit in one go. So as a managing director, overall, what is your perspective on your investment now then? I guess the main benefit of it was just output. You know, I'm seeing jobs that I would normally take three or four weeks to get out because they're going through multiple machines, getting out the door quicker, we can invoice quicker, we get paid quicker, and then we free up the machines for other work. So I would say that's the main benefit. You've had some good reports on this as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. I and mean, we've had good 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 reports, good feedback, we've had good internal reporting, um, machine efficiency. So I must say yeah no so far we're really pleased with the machine.